Look, when people are like, oh my god, the coils are bad, the coils are pissy and shitty, you're pissy and shitty. Well, hello there. What's going on, everybody? Jay Hayes here. So today I'm going to be doing a review on a device that I was sent. For the purposes of the review, I want to give a huge shout out to Vupu. First off, I, I kind of do this in a lot of the videos just because, well... Companies don't really like to send me stuff because they don't want to hear critical information as to what can be fixed with products. Now, products over the time have gotten much better than what they used to be. You know, the shitty voltage cutoff or the shitty feel or things falling apart. Vupa has been around for a long time, man. I mean, a long, long time. And everybody that knows Vupa remembers the drag series. The drag, argumentably, would be up there with the smoke Alien kit. You guys remember that? The 220 and the drag? Those were the two mods that people had. That was it. Sure, there were other mods trickle here and there, but you weren't cool if you didn't have a drag or an alien. And I think, I I think this is the drag two. This is the rainbow one that I did the review on. It might be the drag one. I can't find the drag one or three. If this is the two, if this is the one, I can't. No, this can't be the one. There's I don't know. It might, it might be the one. I don't remember which one it is. But everybody had these. Now, they sent me two of these. Can't really show the box. I'm going to bring it down, show everything inside of the box. And you shout out to the one individual who said, hey, you know, it'd be cool if you used to talk more about the tank because you kind of gloss over it. I will do that. Uh, this is, oh, pale golden walnut. Ooh, not going to like black and walnut. That I'm going to like. So the Drag Series, right? It's a dual battery box mod. They've done the Drag Single. Uh, they've done the Drag Bar. They've done so much. So without further ado, I'm not going to waste any more of your time. Let's open it up. Let's take a look at it. Let's look at the specs of it because I'm very interested how this compares to the original. I, I think it's the original. I, I cannot find it if it's not the original. That's the Drag 2. It's one of the Drag Series. But they've been around for this long and they're still in the game. So... Without further ado, let's bring it down. We're going to look at the black and walnut. I'm not sure if they made a carbon fiber version. It is a proprietary chip, but Vupu does make good chips. You don't really see a lot of companies using DNAs anymore, especially for dual battery. It's risky. But the last dual battery that I did was, was less than stellar. Not by Vupu. I'm not going to call them out. It's on the channel. You can watch it. But let's just flip it. All right, so we're is packaging for the Drag 4 by Vupu on the side of the box. U-Force 4 tank. They've been doing the U-Force for a while. Compatible all PNP. That's good. Oh, my God, is that fantastic. All PNP coils because there's a lot of them. 177 watts. Can't really show. Nope, none of that. Battery safety checklist. It's been a while since I've seen some one of these. It's no company sent me mods. So make sure if your battery looks like any of these just to rewrap it. If you cannot rewrap it, you can use electrical tape, but you never want, first off, this ring on the top to be removed or re really any of that. I mean, it's very dangerous, so just make sure you rewrap it. Battery safety checklist. There's the mod. It actually looks better than the second variation and much lighter. So we'll go over that shortly. Get a spare bubble glass if you don't like the straight barrel. We will be going over the straight barrel, of course. Inside of there, you get a nice flat USB cable, some extra gaskets. Nice. And, you know, they want you to use the USB cable to charge, but I cannot stress how important it is for you not to charge your mod with a USB. This tank has had a significant weight to it. And then there are two of your coils. But, you know, look, I did a review on how to fix these coils. We're going to use this point five. How to fix these coils because I can't tell you how many times people would come into the shop and say, oh my God, these coils keep going bad. And as much as I want to take their money, we could do something to fix this. And that's exactly what I showed them to do. So there you go. There's a little bit of the cotton exposed. It's not that terrible. This is a 0.15. So this is going to be more mesh, a less wick. You can see that they have changed the bottom of that. I don't know if I have any spare coils to compare that to. There is the old Vubu coils. Oh my god, what fantastic coils. They've changed that. That's interesting. So looking at the sub-ohm tank, you have a drip tip on the top. That's going to be 510. 
No, that's an 810. It just looks like a 510. To fill it up, you have your two fill ports, a rubber gasket on the top. Very, very solid. This is not like one of these plastic tanks. Significant amount of weight to it. And adjust the airflow is very, very smooth. Let's go ahead and take that bottom part off. It unscrews. There it is. Significant amount of weight. We're going to use a 0.15 that it comes with. It slides right in there, just like that. You push it down. And that's where your airflow is. I'm going to put Lost Recipe in there, which is a chocolate chip cookie dough. It goes in just like that and fill it up. Make sure you let this sit for about five minutes prior to using. This is a dual battery. Now, there are no coils that come with this that do 177 watts. I guess that's just really for somebody that's going to be doing, you know, an RDA or something. But you're not really going to use that on a coil, like a pre-built coil. It's too much power. Taking a look at this mod, it is significantly much, much lighter than the original. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I, I can't remember if this is the two or the one. I feel so shitty not knowing. I think the two had a slide. Okay, so here you go. On the top of what we could fit. Let's see, 26 and a half. Does that go? No, nah, you really wouldn't want to go to like a 25. I think that comes with it is almost a 26. What a weird size. 25 and a half. That is weird. Before we do that, your fire button. Uh, uh oh. Oh, I thought that was a button. I said, uh oh, you sent this to me and it's jammed up. It's not. It is an up and very clicky up and down button. No idea what that does. You're up and down there. And then it says sample on the bottom. Is that a C frame? Yes, it is. A little warning sticker there. Thank you for choosing drag. That's nice. Cut out. Reminds me of a little bit of old school lost vape. Battery orientation is listed on the tray. You have negative here. And then you have positive there. Goes in nice and smooth. C frame. Old school shit right here. So, oh, nice sound. If you don't like this, you are able to train uh, change it. Yeah, don't don't train it. You are able to change it. That's a leather and that's wood. I feel like that's actually a veneer too. That is, it's not just a sticker. Oh, there it is. Just drag it. What does this do? That locks it, very nice. Okay, so bring that back up. Having it on smart mode is gonna give you the recommended power for the coil that you're gonna put in. Hold those two together, mode, switch, puffer set, about color, exit. Color with a U, classic green, pink. Oh my goodness. Not going to do that. The camera is not picking it up as good as what it is in real life. Yellow. Let's just go to original. What's the, what's original? There it is. White. Hold it down again. About. Just going to show you firmware. Switch. Mode. Smart. RBA. Economy. Temperature control. Let, let's not go with smart. We're going to go with RBA, which is going to allow me to adjust the power as I say fit. You have a one, two, three, four, five digit puff counter. Thank God. Your seconds voltage, the battery percentage of each, 95 and 92, not bad. And then going up in power. This does 177 watts. That is an absurd amount of power. Ub absurd. Absurd. 177 max power reach. Does that allow me to round robin? No, it does not. Going back down, I want to see the voltage cut off for this. That's always important information. Something that a lot of companies don't really talk about. Looking at the manual real quick, it does output to 8.4. I would have liked to seen like 9 or 12, but 4.2 plus 4.2, 8.4 voltage. Of course, as this goes down in battery power, it still should give you that 8.4. So it is technically a boost versus a buck chip. But we'll go. And it did give me the recommended power at 65. I feel like it's entire too much but we're going to let that sit 0.13 it's supposed to be a 0.15 again a couple more minutes and we'll bring it back on top with the drag four and the u-force four tank yeah sure let's do it man i tell you i do love sony's low light oh my god it is phenomenal it's dark as shit in here so what we're going to be looking at now is the drag four we're back on top with it with the u-force tank the tank is a little large man you know, I, it's tough because when they were doing the plastic tanks, right? I was like, don't, don't do that anymore. But they were phenomenal. Then they did that little rebuildable jammy. You remember the clear one? I don't know where it is. But, oh, God, they were phenomenal. I was like, well, why doesn't companies do some old tanks anymore? Metal and glass. I can't be mad because they kind of answered, right? I don't remember what I put in this because I'm doing like three reviews in one shot. A lot to do. 40 watts with the point, oh, point 0.15 coal. Here we go. It's six milligrams. I think it's lost recipe. 
that's a lot of airflow. And it is top airflow, so that means that no matter how shitty the coil could be, because sometimes, and it's not, look, when people are like, oh my God, the coils are bad, the coils are pissy and shitty, you're pissy and shitty. All coils are not fantastic, just like all oils that you put in your car are not fantastic. You just elect to use that because it's the cheapest one. But saying that, sometimes you get a shitty coil and it'll leak juice everywhere. You, you see it less often now than you did three years ago. They've gotten better. That is a lot of airflow. Let's pump that up. It does go high, man, but I, I'm not going to recommend it at 65. Let's do 65. All right, there we go. And that's, that's, wow, that's good. They don't make them like they used to, man. What happened to companies doing this? What happened? Okay. Everybody knows the screen, right? If you've owned a Vupu product in the past three years, now that's a little far. Two years, they make their own chips and they work well. They're proprietary, but that's what keeps the cost of it down. If they were to use DNA 250s or 200s, First off, getting the DNA 200. <clears throat> anyway, C-Frame, love the idea. Love, love, much prefer that way of putting it in than putting them underneath. I can't tell you how many products, I, I'm gonna use the drag series. Again, I do apologize, I, I think this is drag too. This shit, trying to get the batteries out with this tab and then the tab getting caught in a door, pain in the ass. The worst ones are the ones where you load them from the bottom because the hinge starts to go bad or the notch that catches it goes bad and then they don't stay in. No good. This is just, just drag. Gene chip. <laughs> That's it. And I did fill this up so you know that I'm going to use it. The tank is good, but man, is it tall. I would prefer the plastic tanks over this. I know some people prefer the glass. The problem is with the glass, right? If this drops, it's going to break versus on the on the plastic ones, you could drop that. I even tried to break them on this review, the new new jammy. I couldn't break it. And that was with a hammer. So this looks nicer than a plastic one. I don't know if it's better. The fact that it takes all PMP coils, probably not the TPP coils. That was kind of the thing that they did. They're better off with the PMPs. And this is wicking fantastic swimmingly. No dings, dents, burrs, spurs, cowboy boots. Look, I got no problem with any of the other companies. I really don't. I'm very unbiased. But when it comes to dual battery mods, I don't know. There is a market for it. How big of a market? I'd say the single battery, like single coil, even though people still prefer dual coil, no idea why. More flavor? No, you don't. No, no, you don't. You don't get more flavor from two sodas in your mouth. You just get more of it. That's it. It's the same flavor. It's just a lot of flavor. No, that's not right. I don't know how to explain it. Just a lot of vape. <laughs> it's good. I like the mod. I love the C-frame aspect. The tank, not a fan. So if I was to rate the whole kit as a whole, honestly, if you're going to buy the dual battery, I'd buy just the mod. I think it's really, really good. It's probably affordable too, or cheap, cheaper than most. I'd give the mod a 7 to a 7.5. The tank, I'm going to give a 5. No, I'm going to go, let me go 5.56. And the reason being, and, and as a whole, we'll give it a 7 for the whole, the whole kit. 7.5. 7, let's go 7. Well, when's the last time I did a kit that was good? Since I've been here, one. One. It, it's very good for a dual battery, a lot of power. Who's going to use 177 watts? I have no idea. But it does give you that. Honestly, the best parts of these is being able to take the tank off and then you're using whatever you want on top of here. That's where you make the money at. This is just essentially it's a starter kit. I don't know who's going to start off vaping like this. It's going to make people choke. This is something like experienced. And it goes back to the 65. That's six milligrams. Oh my God, is that smooth. I'd go seven across the board. Very, very solid for what it is. Would prefer the plastic tank, but that's not bad. I don't I don't want to push Vupu to not make metal tanks. I just think it's easy. It's cheaper to do the plastic. And you don't have to worry about like breaking the glass. So if you could get the mod with their old PNP little pod jammy, I don't know where mod's at. 
the one that has the adapter that's magnet, I'd go with that over, I'd go with this tank, but the U-Force is a solid tank if you're into metal and glass. I just prefer plastic. I know it's bad for the environment, so are you, but I don't get rid of you. I've kept it real. Have you? Check yourself.